a good morning. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Cut a Yo-Yo with a review. This week, oh, I'm not going to commit to weekly. Uh, today, we've got the Valhalla. Um, this is a collaboration between G Squared Yo-Yos and Damien Puckett. And uh, if you haven't played one yet, oh, put it on a list to try. It's kind of... Uh, it, it's the premier bimetal out there right now, um, in my and a lot of other opinions. Uh, the Valhalla, it is 58 by 44. There's multiple weights, uh, whether you get a 7068 body or a 601 body, and then you can get stainless steel or brass rims. Uh, so for the, the review part here, I'm going to talk about the play of the original 7068 body, stainless steel rims. Um, each one has a little bit different play style, um, but like I said, 58 by 44, and then the weighting changes across the board. Um, it is kind of just like a powerhouse, and it's not overly rim weighted that I can't move it around, um, but it does have a agility that is downscaled. Um, it does keep more momentum with that extra stability and extra spin time than I'm just going to compare it to the Banshee SS because that's what I've played a lot. The Banshee SS is a little bit smaller and it's definitely more agile. Um, the Valhalla takes a little bit more to get moving. So for me, um, I can move the Banshee SS around quicker, hop it around, change direction, get it moving quicker. Once the Valhalla is moving in a direction, um, it can get quicker as long as you keep that momentum rolling with you. If you try to adjust that momentum into a different movement, it's a little bit harder to do. Um, that's just kind of part of the, the perks of the larger diameter. Uh, just It holds that momentum, it holds that spin throughout tricks, throughout string wraps, and holds that stability just uh, great. So it's, it's kind of middle of the road. It's not overly floaty, definitely not overly solid with the size, and, you, and you'll get that as you play it. The bigger diameter is kind of a different feeling. A lot of the bimetals that I play are around 56, 55. Um, when you bump up to 58, it definitely has a different feel. You get a different feel when you toss it. Um, there's a little bit slower of an unwrapping. Uh, it takes more time for that yo-yo to get up to speed, to get the RPMs rolling. And, and you can feel that, but it also takes longer to get that yo-yo to slow down, to get those RPMs to slow down. So take advantage of the bigger size there and the big weight ring on the rim. Um, shape is just super comfortable in the hand. It's the right width, uh, 44 for my hands, uh, I guess six foot human, <laughs> normal size. It fits perfectly in my hand. Um, can go a little bit wider or a little bit thinner without it feeling too wonky, but this one just lays nicely. And uh, it's an overall all-rounder. Probably uh, the number one bimetal I would suggest to anybody right now. Um, I used to always say, like, if you're gonna get a bimetal, you need the Banshee SS. Right now, I might push to the Valhalla just because of that added stability and spin time to somebody that hasn't had a, a bimetal yet. This, uh, you can definitely tell, plays a good bit differently than a monometal, uh, where the carbine is the same size-ish. Uh, monometal doesn't have that rim weight packed on and it, it plays a good bit different. So if you want to try experience a first bimetal, uh, it's definitely a Valhalla is up there. And if you want to try one normal size to compare, uh, if you don't want to go full, full size yet, then maybe something else, but uh, really nice. Let's Let's quit rambling, let's go cut it. Okay, so there we have it. That's the Valhalla. It's rocking a 6.5, 6.6. So let's double it. That puts us at 12.2, 13.2-ish per rim. So you've got 26.4 rim weight on the stainless steel rims. That's gonna be heavier in the brass versions. And uh, the body, as you can see, is pretty uh, similar all the way throughout. The rim does get a little bit fatter um, 
but for the most part it's like a 135 in uh, the wall there 1.35 ish area and it's uh, consistent throughout till we get to the rim so you've got the stainless steel rim plus a little bit of a thickening rim on the aluminum um, not over Lee rim weighted because of the size so this is a bigger diameter yo-yo so that there's some extra body weight there that you wouldn't get in that 55 or 56 millimeter um, diameter range um, so that's kind of what helps it uh, with without feeling too heavy but it doesn't feel too light I played bimetals that feel lighter and faster I've played bimetals that feel heavier and um, have more momentum they're a little harder to move around it just it just depends on Rim weight percent and then obviously diameter comes into play a lot here for the Valhalla. It has a slower RPM, takes longer to get up to full speed, and then also what helps it is it takes longer to be slowed down. Um, I'm going to compare it here to the Fusion we had last week and just so you can see they, they play pretty differently. Now the Fusion is a little bit smaller in diameter. Um, the Fusion has smaller weight rings of stainless steel by about a gram, gram and a half but it does have thicker rims in the aluminum aspect so they're going to be pretty similar weighted in uh, per, um, total rim weight but that rim weight percentage increases on the fusion because it has a smaller diameter and that's why you get that heavier play out of it a little more momentum a little bit heavier um, and that's that kind of helps you see the difference there of what the Valhalla brings in size and, and aspect of size difference there in that diameter is you can get pretty similar-esque yo-yos as far as mid weight and rim weight but with the Valhalla adding that much diameter um, it's just a, a completely different animal they they don't play anything alike on the strings um, so that's the Valhalla thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one